All right, guys, you really did it this time. You messed up your low back and you cannot stand up. So maybe you were out in the garage picking something up and you bent forward and you came up and it's just not good. You can't even get back to a normal standing position. You are stuck here. Maybe you picked up a kid and now you cannot stand up because of the amount of pain that's happening in your low back as you try to get upright. If that's happening to you, today I'm going to show you how to get yourself out of that position, get back to a neutral standing position, and then give you recommendations on what I would do from there. When this type of injury happens, and you were bent forward picking something up, and then you're just stuck here, and you just can't stand up, you've got a lot of low back pain, you've either really got an angry joint, or a lot of times this is a bit of a disc flare up, which should not scare you. A lot of us have disc issues that flare up from time to time and cause these type of issues. You just got to do the appropriate things to get it to calm down. So if you are stuck here, pay attention to this next video. I'm going to show you what to do to get back up here and be able to walk and do the movements we need to do to get you over this. Now, if you are not stuck here, you're stuck here. So you've gotten up and you're shifted off like this. This video is not for you. You probably just need to call your doc, get in to be seen, uh, give us a call, and we'll fix you uh, right up. That's a different animal altogether. But if you're stuck here, these next steps are going to be really important for you. All right, guys. So again, you did it big time this time. You really threw out your back. You've got some disc in your low back that's super angry, and you are at a point where you cannot stand up straight without severe pain either in your low back or maybe it's going down your leg. Here are the steps I'm gonna give you that you need to be doing at home in these situations to get from here back up to this normal standing posture, which is our goal for these type of situations. So what you wanna do at home is you're gonna get on the floor, uh, typically, unless you have a firm bench or something like that, I'm guessing most of you guys don't have a massage table. So you're gonna get on the floor, work your way down there, you gotta believe me, it's gonna help. And you're just going to lay flat. Now, I'm going to move these pillows for now, but I'm going to use those or these towels in a second. So what you want to see if you can do is just lie flat. So you're going to go all the way down and just lay your head on the floor. And now sometimes when you're in a tight spot, you can't even do this. You can't get flat because it hurts way too much. So we're going to come back to this step. What I have my patients do at home in this scenario is, in other words, they're so flared up, they're stuck here. We're gonna create a prop and put that below our waist. So I just have towels at the office. I don't have big pillows. At home, what I would suggest you do is get about four or five big pillows, stack them up, and create a fulcrum that you can lay your belly on. What this is gonna do is now, I'm kinda of in that bent position that I was when I was standing up. So this is taking a little pressure off my low back and allowing me to stay a little pitched forward. So I would lay here for a couple minutes until that pain gets a little better. Now from here, what I can do is I can slowly begin to remove the pillows. So maybe we had five pillows, we're down to one, or down to four, and then we're down to three. And so over the course of five to 10 minutes, maybe longer, we've gone from this position to where we're almost flat and we can remove that last pillow. Now we're flat. Some of you will be able to start here, some of you won't. Now we're flat. So what we want to go from there is see if we can just prop ourselves halfway up on our elbows. So now we're in a little bit of an extended upright position, non-weight bearing on the floor. If we're good there, we're going to press up to here, just to the top of our elbows. We're going to hang out here. And what you might find helps is just to kind of come down and up and kind of work some of that motion back into your low back. So if we're good here for a few minutes, we're gonna come back down, get flat, and then put your arms in front of you and see if you can press yourself up until your arms are locked out and straight. Now what I want you to try to do here is make sure you don't squeeze your glutes. You're gonna to want to, but that limits the mobility in your low back. So you're gonna all the way up, Relax the glutes and breathe out. Typically, I'll say take a nice breath in through your belly. Press up, let it out. That's going to be one rep. Now, if you can get to where you're able to do 10 of those reps, I would suggest doing a few sets of 10, 
work your way up off the floor and see if you're more upright. Majority of the time you will be. At that point, we want to transition to doing the same motion and standing. So your legs are going to stay straight and you're going to lean back as far as you can. This will make it harder because now you're weight bearing. Typically, it's a little tougher. You're going to do the same thing. 10 just as far as you can go. And then <clears throat> as you do this more, you'll notice you're no longer pitched forward and you've essentially worked that soft tissue forward to where you're now standing up straight. From here, what you want to do is stay active. Walking is good in these scenarios. People run into problems when they go sit in their recliner for two days and then they can't get up. You're typically in a worse spot after sitting than you were if you just would have stayed upright and walking around. So those are the steps. When you're in a pinch, you go from that kind of pinched or pitched forward position and standing, recreate that in line, remove the pillows, get flat and work all the way back to where you have mobility backwards and restoring some of that range of motion so you're not walking around for the next three days like this, you're more upright. And once you are upright, you just want to continue doing the standing extensions if those are working for you, about 10 repetitions an hour, and then you probably need to call your chiropractor and make sure everything's all right. So hopefully this helps you guys, get you in the right spot after one of those bad mornings or bad evenings of lifting something the wrong way. Uh, if you ever have questions, 309-1996 here in Lexington, Kentucky, give us a call and we'll talk to you soon.